What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Beauty with Ty. So today's hair, I decided to mix this little cute little Instagram style that I see. You know, just do some natural hair with some bundles. So that's what I decided to do, and I think it looks so good. It was so much easier sectioning off my hair using the rubber bands than versus me trying to part the hair and feed it in. I think that's just so hard. So this is an easy way that you can do the stitch braids with a style. And this hair is by the glam so you guys make sure you click the link down below so you can purchase some of this hair she has a lot of um bundle deals going on like here like you can get a 14 16 18 inch for 145 so less than 150 you can get three bundles and if you want like a closure some that's a little extra as well as the frontal so just go to the website so you can check her out and this is the water wave i thought i was gonna have to curl it but i didn't even have to curl it which was awesome so yeah guys keep on watching so you can see how i got this look <laughs> okay y'all so this is how the hair came packaged it comes in the plastic sleeve as well as the closure and i also came with this little card here giving you the deals and other information as well as their social media and this is what the bundles look like really cute little water wave going on i think this is the closure and this is an 18 inch closure um probably like a three by four but i'm not going to be using this closure here just going to be doing a cute little natural style for you guys. So, let's get into it. So, I'm just going to pick it out. But it's growing. Alright, so I'm just going to section my hair off ear to ear. For my half up, half down section. Okay, y'all, so I've sectioned off my hair. This was the first section, and then I went ahead and split it down the middle. And then I'm going to section this one off at an angle so I can have four braids in the front. Alright, so section it off. Okay, this is the section I'm going to leave out to start braiding with. And then going to rubber band the other ones to get an easy stitch braid if you know how to stitch braid without the rubber bands you can I don't or I haven't mastered it because it just doesn't look right to me so I'm going to be going back and forth between jam and style booster edge control this is style factor I'm just putting it all around so that it's sleek We'll just keep doing that going up. But you, Derek, slow day. All right, y'all, so I'm finished with all of my sections. They look really good. And this is the hair that I'm using. It's by Janet Collection. My favorite brand of braiding hair. So what I'm going to do is just cut the hair in half. And I got four braids, so I'm going to split it in four. Okay, so I have about this much per braid. So I'm going to feed in, so I'm going to start off with small sections like this to start off and then just get bigger. 
and it's a little dry so I'm going to take some of my handmade hair cream and if you would like to purchase some I'll leave my information down below just email me beautywithty89 at gmail.com to make sure our hair is moisturized doing this protective style alright so I'm going to start off with some edge control I just been using this style factor edge booster the whole time alright so start braiding this one off I gotta do this as a plait first so let me plait this baby piece without adding any hair first just plait that I can get it to stay and then I'm gonna add a section Add a piece of hair. Okay. I got her in there. <laughs> it was a little struggle. So that's one braid. Okay. All right, and it's the same way. Get some edge control. Okay, I'm going to take some jam and put it on this braiding hair because it's like too many flyaways. Because I think that's what's messing me up. So I'm using three pieces per braid as I get bigger. Pick that up. Alright. Start off with my little plait. Add a section. All right, y'all, so I'm going to do these other two, and I'll be back to add the hair. I will be sewing the hair in the back. Give me a cute little half up, half down style, and then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I'm finished with the front, and it is looking so neat. I am so in love. So this time I put weave in the back, but I want to do this style again. I actually have the braids coming down with it, but I'm just going to do a half up, half down style this time. And I'm just taking some black gel and putting it over top of my edge control so that I can make sure it stay and last all day. And plus the black gel helps it from turning white. So I'm just putting that all over because I can start to see it dry out. And once it starts to dry out a lot, it will turn white. So I'm just putting this black gel on top of my edges. A little bit right here where I need it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and corn roll my hair down so that I can sew the back in. Okay, so I went ahead and corn rolled my hair down in the back so that I can go ahead and sew my bundles in. Look at it, so pretty. Has a nice little luster to it. Alright, so I'm going to keep it doubled and work my way up. And I like to use nylon thread too. So, I'm just going to sew this in the back and I shall return. 
Okay, yeah, I sewed in the back, and you can still see my track here. I got it all the way up to the top, but I'm going to put my bun right there, so not going to worry about that. So you can't tell that I don't have any hair left out because of how I sewed it on. Just bring it up, kept bringing it up, like at an arch like that. And I do have a more detailed video on that, so I'll leave that link down below. But yeah, this is how the hair is looking here. Really see because my shirt is dark. But it's really pretty. I thought I was going to have to like maybe put some wand curls in it or something. But I don't. Cool. And this is the 20 and the 22 inch. So let me fix this. I guess I can just put rubber bands on the end of them. And then cut the extra hair off. I don't need all that extra hair. Okay, so just take my pieces and put that in a ponytail. Alright, and just take some hair and wrap it around. Take the end and wrap that around. So I guess you can leave it down if you wanted to. That'll be cute. Left down, but I'm going to do mine to a ball. Or a bun. I want it messy neat. <laughs> Alright y'all, so this is the look. What do you think? It's so pretty. But look at this hair. So gorgeous. Like I didn't even have to curl it. Look how beautiful that is. So a cute style. That didn't take me long. It took me like an hour and 15 minutes. And it's a plus that I didn't have to curl this hair.